Hi, I'm Arjen of AudioEase. We think we've come up with the ultimate in indoor acoustics for post. It's called indoor, and here it is. I have this loop of this knocking lady lined up. Arthur! Let's listen to her in this room. Arthur! You run your audio through the speaker and you pick it up with this microphone. The first choice you make is in the location pop-up. You select a location like this French townhouse here. Then you click in a room to place the gear there. Now I've set up in the bathroom. If I go to another location, like maybe the recreational vehicle, note that the gear is again set up in the bathroom. Arthur! Arthur! Or in the boat. So that's how you flip through particular types of rooms in indoor. I can show you our forest bungalow to show you that you can also walk away the microphone on its own. Let's do that with music. And close doors. walking up to the microphone. I've shown you direct on mode here. In direct on, what you see is what you hear. Let me show you here in our log house. I have some plates lined up that'll show you in bypass. And now I'll show it to you here where the speaker is set to the right of the microphone. Direct on mode, by default, is completely natural, including the natural volume drops. I'll show you in the empty house with the music. If I set up here and I open some doors to the bedroom here, I can walk away the speaker into the house. It gets softer and softer and then close doors, and it's almost gone. But I can turn this level range down to diminish the level differences between the impulse responses. So levels are now no longer natural, but equal. Each combination of a speaker and microphone location, together with each combination of open or closed doors, is actually a separate impulse response. All of the impulse responses were recorded using this microphone system, with a choice of two main surround systems. Down here we have omnidirectional microphones spaced by baffles, four of them. We call it the AB system and it sounds wide and heavy. This is the MS system, or the mid-side system which is more accurate and more mono-compatible. And then up here we have two additional channels for ceiling channels for Dolby Atmos. You get to place this rig in the house and then you get to choose between the two main surround systems and then you get to turn the system. So let's turn the system. First, I'll find a spot for this dry audio. Yeah. Hey, bedankt. Okay, I want it in the auto workshop somewhere. For turning, I need to switch this here into custom rotation so I can grab the speaker. Yeah. 
Hey, bedankt. The reverb tail is not affected, only the first part of the impulse response is, which sounds a lot more natural than just slapping a panner on the output of indoor. And all nine channels, 7.0 plus Atmos, react properly to the turning, so you can automate nine channel motion into your tracks this way. We took this microphone rig and a speaker to 60 spaces in 10 buildings and vehicles. Here is our Cadillac Escalade, mic rig in the right front seat. We put the speaker in each of the selected positions, each time recording both with closed doors and open doors. And then we moved the microphone to another seat, or outside, and we repeated the round with the speakers in the doors, and so on. Over a thousand impulse responses in total, and still it's easy to choose between them because you can just click to move speakers and microphones or operate doors. So I have this guy. Okay, hey! Okay, hey! That I'll put in the car. Okay, hey! Okay, hey! Okay, hey! Okay, hey! Okay, hey! Okay, hey! Now let's add a girl for him to fight with. I'll copy over the plugin. So she gets her own, but I think it's a bit too big for two interfaces, so I'll resize them using the resize button. Hallo! Hallo? Ik draai me om. Okay. En het ding hey. is weg. Waar is die lag hier? Hallo! Hallo? Ik draai me om. Okay. En het ding hey. is weg. Waar is die? That's nice. Now let's insert a third plugin on my final track, which is And maybe not in the car, but outside. Now let's listen to the whole thing. Hallo! Hallo? Ik draai me om. Okay. En het ding hey. is weg. Waar is die? Die lag hier. Hallo? Hallo? Ik draai me om. Okay. En het ding hey. is weg. Waar is die? Die lag hier. Hallo? Hallo? Ik draai me om. Okay. En het ding hey. is weg. So far, I've shown you direct on mode. A more traditional mode is direct off. The angle section now disappears and is replaced by some more familiar reverb controls. I've set up this 7.0 input to 7.0 output indoor plugin to which I'm sending this TV sports channel and a coffee machine via these Pro Tools panners. First place to down the line in the game with the Capitals. A win for the Caps would create first place time. We're down to the second place. So when I turn to wet, the reverb is everywhere, and that original stereo placement is lost. Now when I turn down the reverb spread, the reverb will start clinging around the panning positions of the input sounds. And this is clickless and it follows the input panning. So let me walk this TV around a bit. We call it input pan following reverb, where a single instance of indoor can cluster reverb around as many moving sources as you want it to. Now, you can insert indoors all the way from mono up to nine channels. When I insert this one, you can see that all the nine channels are available here, all with their own gains. In this particular space, I have two bathrooms. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this one is a bit boomy, and that's because the frequency of her voice matches a resonance in this bathroom. So I can retune this bathroom. One, two, three, one. Two, three, one, so that the boominess two, disappears. Three. Now let me show you our AAX DSP version. I'll reopen this session, but this time I'll show you the system usage window. 
Pro Tools occupies 1% if I play back. It remains 1% of my CPU. But if I insert a mono to 5.0 indoor, CPU rises to about 3 to 4%. If I switch indoor to the DSP version, the bulk of its processing will now be done on a DSP chip, which you can see here. And the CPU load dropped back to 2%, while latency is just over a millisecond. Now let me sum this up. You get over a thousand brand new impulse responses, especially for post. You get a choice between two microphone systems, either MS or AB. You can not only hop around in a house, you can also automate seamless clickless motion by turning the microphone or using input pan following reverb using the spread button. All of it comes in a single window, resizable, without tabs or browsers. There's AAX DSP support and indoor outputs 9 channels of reverb, 7.0 plus Atmos ceiling channels. Now, before I go, I'd like to show you one more thing. It is walking around in your mix. I find it fascinating enough to show it to you, even though it's a little bit complex to grasp. The idea is this. If you use indoor to make a sound world sound properly from a single microphone perspective, then it'll sound right from any microphone perspective. So I want to set up this restaurant scene, for which I have plates, music, people, <laughs> and running water. Let's start with the plates. I'll insert a 7.0 indoor. Go to the restaurant. I want the recorded angles and the natural level range. right in front of me. Next up is music. I'll copy over the indoor, so I have a second one. Sounds nice. Next copy of indoor goes to the people track, and I'll place the people here in the main room. And finally, the running water gets its own indoor and I'm going to put it here. Maybe open some doors. If I go in here to listen to it, and here it's very faint. Okay, now the whole thing sounds like this. Now I want to move around the microphone in all four plugins without changing the positions of the speakers. So I'll select all four tracks and create a group. Switch up globals here and then set it up such that all plugins in insert A, which is where my indoors are, are all connected. So when I now switch the microphone somewhere, it'll switch in all plugins. Walking around in your mix, that's completely new stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the indoor demo. We certainly enjoyed making indoor, so thanks for watching. Bye.